I sympathize with your plight and I offer you a solution. Uh, remove contribution caps and you will spend less time fundraising, as will all your colleagues. Um, if I get to know Sheldon Adelson. <laughs> There are plenty on, on both sides of billionaires. Is that really what George our Clooney goal is? And is that our goal, to find the richest people in America and cozy up to them to finance our campaign? That makes us a better democracy? Let voters decide based on knowing who is contributing. So if it ultimately is to be made a decision made by the voters, shouldn't they at least have the information about who's playing in this game? I agree. That's why I propose uh, raising contribu or eliminating contribution uh, limits along with setting uh, the proper disclosure. And you can negotiate that about what that amount should be. What should it be? What should it be? That would be take a, a, a very difficult econometric analysis to perform. I'm a simple constitutional lawyer, but I, it oh, would be in the, in the order of there half a million or, or something memory. like that. It's not 10,000, it's not 2,500. Uh, I mean, you, you could, you could probably, no, no, not a, that, not a presidential for that amount. I, I, I don't know. Um, I, like I said, I can pick numbers off my head and think a, on the fly right now, but. A congressional race, most congressional races are come in for well less than a million dollars. You're saying that you shouldn't have to disclose a $499,000 contribution to a member of Congress? I'm saying you set the amount for, maybe it differs on the state, maybe it differs on the race. I, I, I haven't come here with a set of, uh, with a roster, with a schedule of, of what that would be. Well, there you've have to be tailored. With, you've come here with a criticism of the Disclose Act that it sets the number in the wrong place. How do Too you low. know that it sets it in the wrong place if you don't know where that place is? Uh, just like the Supreme Court often says when it rules in, in, in various directions, we don't know where the line is, but this is clearly past it. And well, $10,000 is clearly an amount that would not influence an election? Correct. When you're talking, when you're comparing it to the Sheldon Adelson's and the George Soros's of the world or the Koch brothers or whoever else, that is, is not a Even a congressional amount. election because it applies to congressional races. Maybe for a city dog catcher. You... you Maybe $10,000 would be, would be disclosable for a city dog catcher. Mr. Shapiro, if this were a trial and you were a witness, the first question I would ask you is the following. Is it true that you're here representing the Cato Institute, which is in fact financed largely by the Koch brothers, whom you are defending in terms of their contributions to super PACs? Should you have recused yourself under those circumstances? No. You want to turn your microphone on, please? The answer to that question as a whole or the various subparts are no. I'm here representing myself. Uh, whenever we speak as Cato scholars, uh, we use our institutional affiliation for identification purposes. Some of my colleagues might disagree with something that I said today. I, I, I don't know. Um, and if I, I guess if they disagree too much, or at least if the management does, I might get fired. I don't know. Um, I have received funding through Koch sources over the course of my career and when I was a student to attend seminars and, and things like this. Uh, I uh, don't generally uh, have a problem with, with the sorts of things that the Kochs are doing, but I'm certainly not bought or paid for um, any more than I'm bought or paid for any, number, any other number of, of Cato donors. We are hired because we believe in libertarian ideas, and some people want to fund those ideas, and I'm grateful for that, because if they didn't, then I guess I would have to go and be a litigator again. Mm -hmm.